Welcome to your todaystocks.com news update. I'm Natalie Stoberman and let's dive into what's been making public companies tick this week. There's a few updates from Trojan Gold. The company is officially trading common shares in the OTCQB under the TRJGF ticker. And on top of that, Trojan Gold has also started preliminary prospecting at its watershed property in the Shabandouin Greenstone Belt. The company says four areas will be targeted for mapping and soil and rock sampling throughout the summer. New Zealand's Chatham Rock Phosphate has announced its plans to assist in the global food shortage. The phosphate supplier has reported that its low cadmium phosphate can be an integral part of the new secure supply chain, while Russia's global supply is off the market with its preoccupation in the Ukraine. CRP says that it has three low cadmium phosphate projects in place throughout Australia, French Polynesia and New Zealand and that this new supply fits the requirements for the right nutrient, rate of supply, development timing, and being in the right places to export to Europe and the Indo-Pacific region. Toronto's Madison Metals has released new updates for its Namibian mining projects. First off, the company has announced the delineation of two uranium anomalies at the Rosing North Uranium Project. Meanwhile, Madison Metals says that it has continued to make progress on its exclusive prospecting license that would allow the company to drill in a major untested anomaly nearby the Rosing mine in the Arongo Uranium Province. Tardison Nickel says that it's wrapped up the preliminary economic assessment for its Kenbridge Nickel project. The PEA was independently completed by P&E Mining Consultants, which was focused on reporting on the mineral resources on the Kenora Mining District's project's underground mine. With this phase completed, Tardison Nickel has a solid base for moving forward with the Kenbridge Nickel project, which covers an existing mining shaft of over 2,000 feet. And iMetal Resources has received a drilling permit for its Gowanda West Gold property. The Northern Ontario project will be able to move to its next phase, which includes 15 line kilometers of induced polarization surveying, trenching in up to 25 locations for gold targets and preparing 20 or more drill pads with multiple drill collars. This permit renewal will last for another three years as iMetal Resources prepares for its follow-up drill program. Thanks for watching this week's todaystocks.com news update. This is not financial advice, but tune in with us on our website, todaystocks.com, to watch more weekly updates and in-depth interviews with public companies. See you next week.